we moved to Corvallis at just at the time, um, very sh well, a time that they were considering moving the church oh, across and um, into the fair into the uh, park, and um, and I remember that the first time I ever wrote a letter to the editor had something to do with that that they should be say that building should be saved for a, a an creative activity um, and um, that's it's to me it's it's just a, a very very important part of our community which needs what was support um, we started out with a, a city actually the city voting to give us the use of that space and to support it at a certain amount every um, every month. I worked as curator and preparator at the Corvallis Arts Center from 1972 to about 1980. I worked under four different directors. Corrine Woodman brought me into the Arts Center as curator and then I worked under Connie Onstead and then Thankfully, um, Susan Johnson, who has been my good friend for many, many years, I appreciate her art and I've loved uh, working with her. She was always pleasant, made everyone that walked in that door feel that they were valuable and that their art was valuable. And I can't tell you what a pleasure it was to work with her. How could she possibly have just been the director for seven years? It seemed like she was their director forever. I, I think so too, that's what I thought when I read the dates. Is that right? Uh, that question really struck me when I read it because I never thought of her career as an artist as something that happened after the Art Center. That's true, she was always an artist. She was always like, yeah, I think I said that before, that she, to me she was an artist. That was just a fact of our existence, was that our mother was an artist. And she was always an artist, she was an artist before. She was a mom. When I interviewed to be executive director of the Art Center, Susan Johnson was on the selection committee. It was a rather large selection committee and I was a bit nervous. But every time I looked at Susan, she would nod or smile in encouragement. And when I became the director, that same support and encouragement was there for me whenever I needed it. Uh, we used to have some coffee chats and talk about the responsibility and the challenges of directing such an important cultural resource for our community. And every time I came away from spending time with Susan, I felt inspired by her wisdom, her creativity, and her ongoing love for the Art Center. 30 years ago, back in 1990, 1991, we, I walked in to the Corvallis Art Center and asked Susan, hey, have you ever thought of doing a live theater show here? And she said, no, <laughs> I haven't. And I said, would you? And she said, sure. sure. And so we started, Yelly and I started a theater company at the Corvallis Art Center under Susan's uh, direction there. And support. And her support, um, she would write letters to the editor for us. And, and it was great fun. And it was the start for us because uh, one of our shows took us all the way to Off-Broadway on a national tour. And now it licenses um, all over the world. And, I and when we saw Susan's meeting today, it just brought back so many merry memories and how uh, one person can have an amazing ripple effect in the art world yes. and support. So we wanted to come in and support you and your artwork. And, Absolutely. And to thank you. To thank you so it. much. We couldn't have done it without you. Yeah. I learned a lot about basic, basic design because I, we would sit there and look at the work and talk about it. That was when she was teaching it at OSU. I think mom gave us the confidence to be able to to, um, to do our own artwork and, and to find it acceptable, to, right. to, to like it and to, to do it with confidence. But I mean, she encourages me even now at this age because 
Um, she's included me in different art shows um, at Flown With Open Studios. I was her guest artist and at um, Waterstone Gallery. She also included me in one of her shows because um, I do paintings. Um, once I'm retired, that I might have more time to, <laughs> to spend um, doing acrylic painting and also I on my wish list is to learn how to weld and maybe make sculptures. Oh wow. From welding. That'd be great. I'd love to see that. Um, no, I'd just like to say thank you mom for teaching us to appreciate art and um, allowing us to enjoy art and to pursue art. And I'll say thank you to my dad for that too. Yeah, and uh, I would like to second that completely. Thank you, Mom, and thank you, Dad. It's, it's been a very, very important part of our lives. I know I speak for many people when I say thank you, Susan. Thank you for sharing your many talents, your many gifts with the Art Center, with the artists it supports and celebrates, with our community, and for doing it with selfless dedication and generosity.